Laurel School District will look to taxpayers to help with growth expected the next 20 years. But the bonds are a big ask. Tonight, several dozen people listened in and asked questions at the district's presentation. The master plan in Laurel includes creating a new third through fifth grade elementary school. Plus, the district wants to add career and technical education, something that's not available to students right now. It would also add staff and reduce crowded classrooms, providing space for more than 500 additional students over the next 20 years. Now, the $52.5 million proposed project would be funded with general obligation bonds that would sunset after 20 years. For example, residents with a $100,000 taxable value home would pay an annual $125 for both the elementary and high school bonds. If you recall, just this past May, Laurel residents soundly defeated a pair of levies for both the elementary and the high school. Just prior to that vote, Laurel High School Principal Ed Norman's contract was not renewed leading to student protests. Q2's Dustin Clayman joins us now with more on how that decision last spring may sway voters today. Dustin. Good evening, Jay Janelle. It will be on the minds of some taxpayers when they vote yay or nay. I asked Superintendent Linda, Linda Filpula what she would say to those people who question Norman's dismissal. This bond issue is about the 2,100 kids we have in our school district. That's what this bond issue is about. Um, it's not about any of the adults. It's not about Ed Norman. It's not about Linda Filpola. It's not about any of the Board of Trustees. It's about the 2,100 kids in our school district. That's why we're running a bond. Um, that was my decision to make. I made that decision and I stand by that decision. Now we need to point out one could pass and another fail. If that's the case, say the high school passes and the elementary loses out, that money from the high school isn't going to go to the elementary side. They can't spread the number throughout. So right. it would be just one or the other. Obviously, people will be getting, uh, it's a mail-in ballot election. They'll be getting that in in the next week. Uh, you can go to ktbq.com for any of the project's details, frequently asked questions. That story is on our website right now. All right, thanks so much, Dustin. Yep.